Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, I'm going, okay, for two years undefeated. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Now, yeah. a lot of people, you know, it's like all of this kind of stuff that we're doing and what you fans get to see. The fans now have more exposure because of digital media, social media, mm -hmm. everything. They have more exposure to be able to hear us talk and hear the real story. So I went two years undefeated. A lot of people try to compare me and Goldberg, mm -hmm. not taking nothing away from Goldberg, but Goldberg was 173 and 0. You remember? That's what they pushed. Oh, yeah. 173 and 0. I went two years undefeated. I was at at WWF at that time. Yeah, yeah. We were doing approximately about 500 matches a year. Wow. So that's really like a thousand and oh. Yeah. And we were doing double shots on the weekend, one o'clock show during the day, then an eight o'clock show at night. We we're doing two shows. And if you were anybody at TV, you were wrestling twice. So I definitely seen the opportunity for title matches. I wrestled against Yokozuna when he was champion. But everyone wanted to see the last thing, the last question, the last point that you brought up to me was Shawn Michaels and myself. They wanted to see me have the Intercontinental title then. The fan base wanted to have me have it then. Have you heard the story there? No. Okay, well, we might as well go ahead and add a little bit of <laughs> flair, okay, uh, to the Wrestle Rock podcast. Okay? Um, approximately about a year later, not a year later, it was about probably about, I'd say, nine, ten months after WrestleMania 9. I was out with Undertaker and okay. out with also Brett, okay. close friends. Tremendous superstars, of course, in our industry. That's who I hung out with. We went back to Brett's suite one night after us, after an event, okay, after going out to go eat. You know, we sat down, and an undertaker and Brett went to say, hey, Tatanka, actually, Taker said, hey, Chief, I want to talk to you about something. I said, what? what's up, dead man? He said, I want to talk to you about WrestleMania. Well, WrestleMania was coming up in a few okay. months, so I thought he was talking about WrestleMania 10. I said, yeah, what's up, dead man? WrestleMania 10. Yeah, I'm looking forward. He goes, no, I'm not talking about WrestleMania 10. I'm talking about WrestleMania 9. And then I looked at dead man. I says, what are you talking about, dead man? He said, listen, the office had already planned on giving you the title at WrestleMania 9. But Sean and the Click, mm -hmm. back then, the Sean and the Click went around. And everybody says, well, the Click wasn't part there. Yeah. Everyone had their little favorite groups back then. Yeah, yeah. Sean had his favorite group. Exactly. The, they said that Sean and his little clique went around and saying that I was getting an attitude, having a big head. Mm -hmm. So they actually changed the office to change the decision mm -hmm. that Definitely. not to give me it the was title. It easy working with WWE because we are not with the right person on the right spot. Correct. You know, and if you remember nothing. Sean when he retired... When he did his retirement speech, if you remember parts of that, one of the things he said, a lot of guys back there don't like me. You know, there's a lot of bad, basically what he was saying, he did a lot of bad things before in his career. He'd given his life to God, but a lot of things he had done beforehand, meaning, uh, come on, we all know about the Montreal screw job, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So same thing, you know, so I was really gunned then for the IC title at WrestleMania 9. And one of the ways that you know it is at the beginning of that match, when we're getting ready to get started, I do that war cry. And you can, when I do that war cry, you can hear the whole building light up. They were ready for me to have the title. And plus, more important than that, throughout all these years of speaking to the fans, mm -hmm. I've realized now how much the fans wanted me to have the title then. They go, you got screwed. You, you needed to have the title then. You know, you, but again, back then, don't forget, when you had a title belt back then, you kept a title belt for a long time. So Sean knew that he wouldn't see that title belt for a while. Look at Brett. How long did he carry the world title for? Almost two, two years. years. So yeah. when you had a bit, it's not like wrestling today. You kept the belt for a long time. Yeah. So Like Roman Reigns? Of 